A pleasant day, everyone. Come and join us as we take a closer look at two important historical buildings in Wellington City. The Wellington Railway Station is the main commuter hub for the Wellington area. On a daily basis, thousands of people travel in and out from this location. The station was built on reclaimed land. It was officially opened in 1937. The building is a U-shaped structure. The design was inspired by America's railway terminals. The sweeping driveway leads to the main entrance of the building, which is dominated by eight 13 metre high columns. This is the biggest railway station in Wellington City. Despite the alterations made over time, the building is in its original condition. Let's take a look at what's inside this building. The booking hall is decorated with marble floors and looking up is the huge vaulted ceiling. This is the main hall where people meet, welcome and say goodbye to family and friends. The railway station's underground walkway has different exits. Some exits lead to the Lambton Quay interchange where passengers coming out from the train can catch the bus and vice versa. The next historical building that we are going to visit is the old government building, also known as the Law School. The best way to get there from the railway station is to use the underground walkway. Here is the map to show you the pathway. The old government building is one of the greatest wooden buildings of the world. 
This building was completed in 1876 and for 56 years was the home of the minister's offices and all Wellington-based civil servants. Today, this building is mostly occupied by the law faculty of Victoria University of Wellington. Both the interior and exterior of the building was made entirely from timber. Tasmanian hardwood was used for framing. Rimu for the carved interior decorations. Kari was used for almost everything else. Walls, floors, stairs and exterior weatherboards. Because Kauri timber was extensively used to build this building, workers were not allowed to smoke inside the building over concerns about the threat of fire. This is the first building in the world to have a smoke-free policy. Did you know that during the 19th and 20th century there was a high demand for cowrie? This left the forest decimated. As a result, logging cowrie, except in special circumstances, was made illegal in New Zealand in 1985. If you would like to visit these two historical buildings, please see the information in the description below. We will wrap up here. See you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat po.